So it's a shelf. <laughs> no, you don't understand. During acceleration, it needs to stay perfectly level and provide... Yeah, okay, it's a shelf. It's a small brown paper bag, Ma! I'm looking at it right now! Why would I make that up? There's no ding-dong in it. <laughs> How are two ding-dongs tomorrow gonna help me today? <laughs> so, this is engineering, huh? I'll talk to you later. Engineering, where the noble, semi-skilled laborers execute the vision of those who think and dream. Hello, Oompa Loompas of science. <laughs> Sheldon, what are you doing here? I just came by to say hello. I've been in this lab for three years. You've never come by to say hello. Well, up until now, I've had better things to do. <laughs> so, what are we making today? A small payload support structure for a European science experimental package that's going up on the next space shuttle. Really? How does it work? When this is done, it will be attached to the payload bay, and the sensor apparatus will rest on it. Uh-huh. So it's a shelf. <laughs> no, you don't understand. During acceleration, it needs to stay perfectly level and provide... Yeah, okay, it's a shelf. <laughs> now, I notice you're using titanium. Did you give any consideration to carbon nanotubes? They're lighter, cheaper, and have twice the tensile strength. Sheldon. There's a diploma in my office that says I have a master's in engineering. And you also have a note from your mother that says I love you, Bubula. <laughs> but neither of those is a cogent argument for titanium over nanotubes. Sheldon? Yes? Go away! <laughs> Did Leonard tell you to say that? No, I thought of it all by myself. <laughs> huh. Can't be a coincidence. There must be some causal link I'm missing. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. 